Hi, welcome to the Fountain for Carson virtual high school tour. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some of the main areas of our building. We're gonna start off our tour today in the main lobby. The main lobby is the hub of the school and really leads to all of the different wings in our building. Our building has three main wings, A wing, B wing, and C wing. We also have a cafeteria area that connects to the main lobby area. And outside of our school, we have a greenhouse, a field house auxiliary gym, where we have some, a shooting range and PE courses. Uh, we have field areas outside of the school, baseball and soccer, and a stadium track area. Today, we're gonna start our tour in A Wing. The A Wing was recently remodeled and includes several office areas. The main office area is on the first floor and it includes the offices such as attendance secretaries, our school resource officers, assistant principals, deans, and principal. The attendance office is one of the first areas you'll see in the A Wing. It is the area past the glass doors. You will see the attendance secretaries and there will be the people who help you out if you need to uh, leave school early for a reason, you'll, get, you'll go there to get your pass. Also, if you arrive late, you'll check in there prior to going to your class. Also in this area is the main office. And if something's dropped off for you, more than likely you will pick it up from this area. If you go through the main doors on the bottom floor in A Wing, you'll notice that we have several pods. A pod is a set of classrooms that's in one entrance, entrance area. On the right side of the A Wing hallway, one of the first pods that we see are our English language arts classes. We have classes, those classes upstairs and downstairs in the pod area. Across from this pod, you will see a small window, and that's actually our athletics office. Students can go to that office window area. You can pick up clearance forms, and you can ask questions about our athletics as well. After walking midway down the hallway in A Wing, you'll notice that on the right hand side is our media center or library area. This is a wonderful area for studying, checking out books, and researching. Also midway down A Wing, we have another pod on the left side, and this is where we have many of our science classes. Additionally, right next to the Media Center, there is a small door, it's like a half door, and that's actually our technology ER computer room. This is the place where you will pick up your computers, and also if you have problems with your computers, you can take them here to get them fixed. At the end of the A-Wing hallway, near the stairway and large window, on the right side, we have another pod which contains many of our social studies classrooms upstairs and downstairs. And one thing you want to keep in mind on the in the pods, the upstairs and downstairs, is that all classrooms that have 200s will be on the upstairs and classrooms that are numbered with the 100s will be on the bottom floor or downstairs. So. On the left side of A Wing, closest again to the parking lot and large window area, we have classes such as photography, digital imaging, yearbook, as well as graphic design. We also have a few social studies classes on that side as well. Now let's take a look up our, at our A Wing upstairs. If we go through the main doors in A Wing, on the upstairs area, we're gonna see that on the um, right-hand side, we have our a few more classrooms on the right-hand side. There's the English pod, and so we'll have those classes there. But on the left side, we also have another set of office areas. This is actually our counseling center. Our counseling center is a place where students can discuss their class schedules, discuss future career and college plans, get information on leadership and internship opportunities, and receive a variety of supports. We have a few administrator offices in this area as well. Just past the counseling center, we have a culinary classroom. This is a new addition to our building last year. This classroom was created where students can have the opportunity to start their culinary classes at Fountain for Carson High School. Students who take this class have the opportunity to, opportunity to earn their Surf Safe certification. And after passing the, this course, the beginning course, students can take additional culinary courses and get experience using an industrial sized kitchen. Halfway through the upstairs area of A Wing, we also have business courses that take place here. 
Students um, as joining these classes allow students the opportunities to join clubs such as DECA or FBLA. And students in these classes also help run our school store, which is located near the cafeteria. At the end of A Wing Upstairs, on the right side of the pod, we also have um, our social studies classes. And then on the left side, we also have art and painting classes and drawing classes in that pod area there. Now we're going to take a look at our cafeteria. The cafeteria is also a hub that joins our A Wing, C Wing, and B Wing. Students can get food from a variety of areas within the cafeteria. The cafeteria contains two stages where clubs make presentations or sell tickets, and the school store is also located in the cafeteria near the main lobby. Don't forget to bring your ID because you'll need that to get a lunch. Looking outside of the large window wall in the cafeteria, students can see a looped parking area, which is the bus drop-off and pickup location. Making our way to Sea Wing, we can see that um, sea Wing again has two floors, an upstairs and a downstairs. Again, the 200s are on the up, upstairs and the 100 classrooms are on the downstairs part. Going through the downstairs area, um, we're actually, let's start on the top floor. If we go on the top floor of Sea Wing, we're gonna notice that on the left side, we have another pod area. This pod contains our JROTC classes, a few foreign language classes, as well as some STEM classes. And on the right side of the upstairs Sea Wing, across from the JROTC pod, we have a few more science classes as well. Midway through the Sea Wing upstairs, we will notice that we have a Trojan Academic Center, which contains several different offices and supports. Um, we also call that area the TAC. And this area helps provide a lot of supports for students and especially works with students who have individualized learning plans. Continuing through Sea Wing upstairs and going to the end of the hallway by the large window, on the left side of the Sea Wing upstairs of the hall, in the hallway, um, there's another pod which has several more foreign language classes. And then on the right, stair, uh, right side of the Sea Wing upstairs at the end of the hallway, there's another pod which contains a variety of subject area classes too. If you look right outside of Sea Wing, you um, outside, that is where you can see the greenhouse. Students taking the agricultural science and technology courses utilize this greenhouse for their, for their learning. If we go downstairs in Sea Wing, we have several other classes as well. And if we're entering at the bottom floor, going in through the cafeteria, on the left side of the Sea Wing, we have a pod which contains uh, math classes. And then on the right side of Sea Wing Hallway, we have a metals classroom and a woods classroom. Students learn how to use several different tools in those classes. Midway down Sea Wing Hallway, on the left side, we have our ceramics and sculpting classroom, as well as the Trojan newsroom. Video production classes are held there. Then at the end of Sea Wing, by the large window, we have two more pods, and both of those contain math classes. Making our way to B Wing, which is actually located in the main lobby, it is through the doors on the opposite side of the um, A Wing hallway. Um, we go through there, and we're gonna. When we go through the doors, we see a round, a large rounded hallway, and in that hallway is our auditorium. If you have drama, theater, or stagecraft classes, you will come through this hallway to get to those classes. Also, you continue through the, that rounded hallway to get to um, additional classes such as our choir room. And across, uh, down from our choir room is also the band room. Those are located in the B wing. Across from our choir and band room is the large gym. If you continue past the large gym and turn the next corner, down a new hallway, you will see our small gym, which will be on the left side of the hallway. And walking past the small gym, you will also um, then see our weights room, which will be on the left. Our weights room is a wonderful place. It's really nice, has lots of good equipment in there. And then if we continue down the hallway and now we take a right, we will go down a hallway to our pool area. Again, our pool is very nice. If you have PE classes, you will end up changing in the big gym locker rooms. Out behind the B-Wing, of course, is our Fieldhouse Auxiliary Gym, and that's where classes such as aerobics and then our rifle classes take place. 
Again, behind this area, we have our football field, track area, we have tennis courts, and our baseball and um, those additional field areas, soccer fields as well. So we are, that actually concludes our tour, our virtual tour of our school. We look forward to seeing you here at Fountain Fort Carson High School, and we're so glad that you're going to be part of our Trojan family. Remember, once a Trojan, always a Trojan. We look forward to seeing you soon.